Hey guys, welcome back. Vika here and you're with The Modern Creatures. Today we're going to take a look at one of the most talked about phones in the last couple of weeks, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. 5G. This is the third generation device in Samsung's Flip series and now has a tougher body, flagship specs, and more importantly, a lower price. But is it really worth all the hype? That's what we're finding out today. But before all that, quick thanks for clicking on our video, but maybe you'd like to help us out a little more by subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell icon so you can be notified when we upload new videos. That's about it, so let's get on to the review. There's undoubtedly a lot to talk about when it comes to the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G's design. Whether you're a flip phone newbie or not, this phone is just plain amusing. Quick fun fact, did you know that Samsung actually designed this after a mirror compact or a powder compact? That's why the build is so familiar and probably why it works so well. When closed, the Flip 3 is tiny and I absolutely love its small size. It comfortably fits in my pockets without the fear of falling out. Something that I don't feel with most smartphones these days. It even fits in the tiny pockets of my bags, which is super convenient. As I mentioned in my unboxing, you do still get this gap when you close the phone. And in using it, I found that dust and other things do get its way in there. And you would often have to wipe the screen to keep it clean. Luckily, I didn't have to worry much about scratching its back or front though, since both are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. The body itself is made of Samsung's extra tough armor aluminum, which adds to its durability. It's also IPX8 water resistant, which means you can submerge it beyond one meter. The usual issue of folding phones is the hinge, but the one on the Flip 3 has proven to be really tough so far. Samsung guarantees this new hinge is capable of up to 200,000 times of folding and unfolding. That's a lot of flips. On the edge, you get this nice subtle logo, which is a very classy touch in my opinion. There is obvious resistance as well when closing and opening the device, and you can really feel it's well built. But that resistance became a problem for me when trying to open the phone with one hand. It's not that easy to do if you've got smaller hands like me, but I had Kevin try it and he could do it comfortably. It became a pain point at times when I needed to open the phone but didn't have both hands free. The cover display helped with that problem though, but we'll get to that later. For ports, we have the USB C down here for charging alongside the speakers. On the left, we have the nano SIM card tray, while on the right are the power button and volume rocker. This phone also supports eSIM if ever that's what you need. The Flip 3 also comes in an assortment of fun colors. There's green, cream, black, and this lovely lavender which we have right here. There are also exclusive colors which are white, black, and pink and are only available directly from Samsung in select markets. There's also an assortment of accessories that make having this phone all the more fun. If you ask me if I'm happy with the Flip 3's design, I would answer with a resounding yes. In my time with it, it's proven to be very durable and easy to take care of. The size, both folded and unfolded, is perfect for me and is probably the best thing about this phone. Bottom line, this folding form factor isn't just convenient, but it's also very well built. It'll really be hard to go back to my old brick phone after this. Moving on to the display, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G is fronted by a 6.7-inch AMOLED display with a high 120Hz refresh rate. This, of course, isn't your ordinary screen and is made with Samsung's ultra-thin glass that's about 80% more durable now. This is a premium screen undoubtedly. You get beautiful animations thanks to the 120Hz refresh rate, colors are absolutely gorgeous, and it's really bright as well, even outdoors. A common question we've been getting about this device is whether or not you can see the crease. Yes, visibly you can see the crease and you can even feel the crease, but in using the device, I could barely notice it and it was easy to get used to, which is more important in the long run anyway. It is more long than wide though, so there are times that things can feel a bit cramped. Some full screen content like Instagram stories or TikTok can get cut, so that's something to take into consideration. But watching on this phone is a delight and the speakers are both loud and clear. 
The Flip 3 also now offers a bigger 1.9 inch Super AMOLED cover display up front for reading notifications and information at a glance. The bigger screen makes it easy to navigate through the widgets and let's face it, it's just really nice to look at. You can customize the cover display with a set of templates available and even deactivate widgets that you don't need. This cover screen became a very important feature for me because as I said earlier, it's hard for me to open this with one hand. With it, I could easily scroll through my notifications, see if there's anything important, and if not, I just put the phone away. Less screen time isn't always a bad thing, right? The Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G carries no less than a flagship Snapdragon 888 processor, which I am extremely happy about. It works alongside 8GB of RAM and offers two storage options. Normally, I find that more experimental devices, or those that value form or design, are often shortchanged in terms of power but not the Fold 3. In my time with it, performance was snappy across the board. I'm able to breeze through all my tasks using the usual apps. This was made even easier with Samsung's ever-useful productivity features like the multi-window tray and the split-screen feature that works wonderfully with this folding form factor. I also gave Genshin Impact a whirl on this phone and everything was pretty smooth. It could run the highest settings and even tackle 60 FPS pretty well, though I would advise just to go a little lower on graphics to get smoother gameplay. This phone does get hot though, especially the top part, so marathoning might not be the most comfortable. But overall, this phone is a lot of fun. Not only does it offer top-notch performance across the board, but you're getting a totally new experience, something that we haven't seen in a while. And as shallow as it may be, I just really enjoy flipping my phone open to answer a call. On the Galaxy Z Flip 3 are two 12 megapixel cameras for the rear and a single 10 megapixel camera on the front. Comparing this setup to other smartphones in this price range, the dual camera setup may seem underwhelming. But let's not forget, these are Samsung cameras after all. In my time with it, photos were bright, sharp, and with good overall saturation. The cameras also exhibited good dynamic range. Even when shooting overcast, it managed to get details from both the sky and the subject to make for a well-balanced photo. The ultrawide has an impressive field of view, though you do get distortion that can make your limbs look longer. Both rear and front cameras start to fall short when less light is available, especially when hand held. But the beauty of the Flip's design is you can easily set it up on a stable surface to get brighter and sharper night shots. The 10 megapixel front camera is able to churn out natural looking selfies and the portrait mode does well in cutting out subjects and producing soft bokeh. You also get crowd favorite features like single take and pro mode. But while the camera specs are conservative, the upside is that the Flip 3 offers new and fun ways to take photos. The most obvious use, as mentioned earlier, is to set it up on a stable surface so you can take hands-free photos and selfies. You can also adjust the top half of the phone to get different perspectives. This works especially well when you set the phone low and use the wide-angle lens for more dramatic-looking photos. Another unique feature that the Flip 3 offers is the ability to take photos with its cover display. Simply double-press the button on the side and you can activate the rear cameras even when the phone is closed. You can choose the lens you want and switch between photo and video all from the cover display. When taking a photo the usual way, you can activate dual preview so both you and your subject can see what's happening. The cover screen only shows a portion of the photo though, so it's best to take this in consideration when framing your shot. You may end up with elements you don't want in the photo. It's pretty obvious that these cameras are nowhere near the premium ones you'll find on say the S21. But for your everyday IG stories, Facebook photo posting kind of camera, I'm pretty pleased with the overall quality. For battery, this phone has a 3,300 mAh capacity. There's a lot of premium tech on this phone, so I was a little worried about how long it would last. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to charging my phone, so I was wondering if this would be a deal breaker. Testing the battery, we let the phone stream over Wi-Fi with the 120Hz screen active and no audio. The phone was able to last just five and a half hours. In wanting to make this phone last, I turned off the 120Hz screen and kept my connections to 4G unless I really needed those fast speeds. With these adjustments, the phone was able to last a little bit longer and I didn't have to charge until the evening. I'm sad to sacrifice the 120Hz screen which I really love but if it means longer battery life, I would make that compromise. 
For charging, the Flip 3 offers just 15 watts per wired and that takes about an hour and a half to fully refill the device. There's also 10 watt wireless charging and wireless power share for charging peripherals. Though with its small battery, that feature is probably best reserved for emergencies. In our reviews, the Modern Creatures aims to find special features in a device that make them worth having. It's Creature Feature. And for the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G, it would most obviously have to be its folding form factor. The folding form factor may come out as a novelty for some, but it's proven to be very useful so far. There's finally a phone that truly fits in my pocket, plus I love its versatility in other aspects as well. It's great for multitasking, taking photos, video calls, and so much more. If it hasn't been clear enough, I am so happy that folding phones are hitting consumer markets again. What makes me even happier is that Samsung not only gave the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G a gorgeous and durable design, but also offers it with amazing specs and a more reachable price. With the success of this phone, I'm pretty confident that we'll be seeing more foldables from other companies soon, and I'm sure that they're only going to get better. And that's a wrap for our review of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. All in all, a really great phone with great performance, though a little shy on the camera and battery department. Still, it's a phone I wouldn't mind picking up for myself. What about you guys? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, please do visit our website and our other social media channels for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, I'm Vika. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.